All right, let's get right into it. So when it comes down to this variation of frost, you have two things that are really interesting. You have the Blades of Glory overhead, and you have the Roly Poly Oli. First thing I want to talk about is the Blades of Glory overhead. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing about this overhead. A lot of people say it's very reactable, but it has pretty good range for like a special move that goes into an overhead. But it's not useless. There's actually really good ways of not only setting it up, but also good ways of conditioning your opponent. I think this move is all about conditioning your opponent to do more shit. So one way I like to use it is sneak it in with this mix up right here. I think this is pretty good. 17%. I wish it was more, but it is what it is. So now you have every time you do this move, you could be plus four. Or you can go into this, whatever, right? And if your opponent blocks it, you're completely safe. So, you know, there's stuff, you know, you can do with it, which is really nice, you know. So now it's like a mix-up, which is going to be an overhead. Is it going to be a low? Am I going to grab you? Am I just going to complete it and get my hit advantage and then grab you? You have tons of options off of it. So that's really nice. But one of my favorite ways of using the overhead as well as this one, and then ways you can set this one up, on you can stagger it off of this. Like, you're only, like, if your opponent blocks it, you're, like, it's really good stagger, like no hit advantage, or you're not minus, you're not plus, whatever. So you could do this and then go into that. Um, one, another thing I like to do is sometimes do this. Oh, sorry. Boom. And then go into it because they're expecting that follow up or whatever, right? And then, you know, there's there's tons of things that you can do. Not only that, but like you can even go like this and then boom. Ghetto ass fitty fitty. So, you know, there's stuff you can do with it. So. My favorite ways of setting it up is this guy and this guy, even the second hit. And if they land like boom, I had to hit advantage of 22. I could it could gel or even this one, it won't gel, but it would just throw your opponent off. So that's just one way, one way I like to do it. And it's just a guessing game. Overhead, low, low, grab. So it's a good mix up in my opinion. So there's that. Now another way I, I like to use the overhead is with this guy right here boom this is crazy in this variation one thing i like to do is throw it once and then go into my overhead now you're telling me why would you just throw it once you could literally do it again and get more damage it's not about the damage with it it's more about um scaring your opponent and be like what the fuck this is if you throw this once to your opponent it's gonna land like once he probably won't fall for it for the second or third time but it's going to be a threat and you're conditioning your opponent for it. One thing I like to do is do this to ready for the overhead. They get grabbed. Another thing is I like to do this. Oh, sorry. This. Step back and wait for my opponent to either poke or just look at them. Basically look like a freaking idiot. Basically just, you know, standing up there and then get ready for an anti-air. That's one thing I like to do as well. Like, I'm back here, and then people just love jumping, and then boom, just anti the shit out of them. So, you know, there's ways that you could do it. But one of my favorite things to do is, if this has a crushing blow. So, check this out. So, if, uh, where is you, where are you, buddy? So, right there, you see if it punishes a low or a ducking attack, or if it counters, whatever, right? So, one thing I like to do is literally step back, uh, boom. Step back and then just get ready to freaking throw it like not make it not make it into a full string But instead throw it off step back create some space and then throw it Or if they're think I'm gonna do that step back and then throw that shit, but that's that's for later time So that's one thing I like to do this overhead or not only that but if they're ready for the overhead sweep or not only that boom and then Stagger it into however I want. You could do something like this. Just throw them off. Boom. Ghetto fitty fitty. So there's there's a tons of things that you can do with it. So it's really really nice. So boom. This grab. Uh, boom. This staggered into this, or you can even stagger it into that. So let's, there, here's another thing you can do. This and then it's a really good stagger. And then not only that, but you just just complete it really just freaking complete it and then you could also it's another way of setting up your crushing blow if they press buttons in between and it counts as a counter so yeah it's really dope i really really like it now funny thing that you can do 
I don't know, the shit cracks me up. It cracks me up, but <laughs> alright, so let me, let me show you. So <laughs> when you do this, right, if you space it out correctly, which first of all, if you're playing as Frost, you you need to know how to space motherfuckers out. Very similar to Scarlet. That's how you get benefits with her. But you throw this and like what is Jack's really gonna do in this situation, right? Like he has to poke me. His poke's not gonna land. His his down four is not gonna land. It's just he's basically getting spaced out. He either has to jump or commit to what what is it? His nine frame mid or blah blah blah, right? Or it's Liu Kang, flying kick, Liu Kang, Wu Tang, whatever, right? One thing that you can do is literally just bait for them to throw their their poke. <laughs> And then you do your down four, and then you go into an overhead. Or you can even do this. Oh, sorry, boom. You can even do this. And it will reach, and then you go in for your overhead. It's it works. This shit works. It throws people off. It's like they're just not ready for it. Whether they block the low or they don't, like their shit's gonna whiff, and you just hit them. It's pretty funny. Not only that, but another really really sneaky little setup. Um, is you right? So you boom, whatever, right? Boom, and then you do that, and then you do this, and you create space, and you start backdashing, and they're just up there standing up, blocking like a freaking idiot, because they're ready, ready for that slow ass overhead. So there's ways of sneaking in the overhead. There's more ways than that. Like you could even do one, two, and then uh, you could do this into the overhead, and then they're ready for it, be completely safe. Are there one, two, low? Or there is one, two, when they're ready for the overhead, and then you could do something like that. Or what is it? One, two, and then one, two, and then it, it, there's there's lots of things that you can do with it. You have a decent sweep. It is just it's a decent sweep. It, it gets the job done. But you have a low starter. You have a low starter. It's not the fastest, but it got some decent range on it. Not the greatest range in the world, but you know. You know, if you just want to play it safe, do that. But if you want to stagger it and test your opponent, you know, reflex, boom, you can start doing stuff like that or whatever. Just be completely safe. And, you know, there's just a bunch of stuff you can do. So there is ways of sneaking in that overhead. You just got to be smart with it and not get greedy. So there's that. All right. So now I want to talk about the Roy Polioli. Here's the thing about the Roy Polioli. You have a move. That complements it so fucking well, which is this guy right here. Whether you enhance it or you don't, doesn't matter. Um, after this lands, this is guaranteed. There's like, there's nothing your opponent could like really like teleport characters. Get the fuck out of here. So check this out. So you get right. So I do this. Boom. I clip swarping right. Squirt is gonna try to no does no I'm gonna try to jump and do it no not happening it's just not happening you basically he, frost recovers so fucking fast so it's basically guaranteed pressure so you do that boom block it's really really good and if your opponent doesn't have what is it um. A teleport you can literally start bullying them with your freaking projectile you can start doing this and make it a guessing game going into that and enhance it or whatever so check this out so let's say I hit you uh, with this right so let's say boom I'm gonna try to roll backwards right or forward right let me get my timing for it. It's a punish. Check. You saw that? So check this out. Let's say your opponent is like, okay, I'm not going to deal with that. I'm going to bypass. It's a punish. Your opponent can't do anything. But they try to back roll. Let's see what happens on the back roll. They, it, it's hard. It's hard to get in um, after that move lands, as you saw. You can't forward roll because that's going to be a punish. So it all depends. Honestly, check this out. If your opponent... Has a teleporting character. Throw that. If they don't, they're kind of fucked. They're really fucked. Because you could throw that block in time. You could um, get in on them with this just to throw them off. You could start bullying them with that and enhance it. Or even like just throw it once, two, and then throw it like that. And then it's just... They're just fucked, basically. It's just you're pressuring them from full, from full screen. So... You, so now let's talk about what the move actually does, right? 
So I'm just going to make him be in a realistic situation where he's just going to be blocking, right? I'm over here. 77. I'm over here. Oh, or whatever. I'm over here. Getting closer. Getting closer. Oh, sorry. Super close. No matter where I throw it, once it explodes, I have the hit advantage of 77. That's really good. It's ridiculously good. So you can start doing stuff like this. Um, one thing I like to do, and when it does, does that, I'll throw my... Uh, um, so I'm over here, they're blocking, and then I'll do this, maybe go into that, maybe throw a 50-50, or whatever the case may be. Sometimes when it explodes, right, they're waiting for me to do something, and then I'll throw that, and then throw it at them again, just to fucking throw them off. Or another thing, get in on there with them. But the smartest thing to do, honestly, the smartest thing to do is do that, and then just start pressuring them with this. Just start pressuring them just like that. You get in on them, start pressuring them, or you can literally do that and you start walking up, grab. There's just there's a ton of options that you have. Just play it smart. Best thing to do if you're closing in on them, throw them off like that, or pressure them with that after it lands. Because after it lands, they basically can't do anything other than basically respect you. Or if you're closing in on them, you have this button as well pressure them and then you could just add from what I told you with the overhead and the low and then grabs and all that stuff so I think it's really really good once you know how to use it it will take time to get used to but for the most part that's my favorite way of setting it up after this you could also do stuff like this right you could do stuff like that whatever but I would actually prefer to do this right here and then pressure on from right there you can always do that um, and then also another thing that's really good especially a frost you could do that throw it you could do this pressure them and there's just there's there's good ways of setting it up so you have this that basically you can special cancel it basically every single move even this right here because anything so once it lands and that space created you throw this and like teleport characters can't really do shit or if you're playing against characters that don't have teleports you can literally start pressuring them with this or you can throw that at them and start pressuring them whichever way you want it, it's really really good in this variation you're sacrificing damage which is fine and it just you're just giving them this full screen presence that if you get it going it's like oof, it's a fuck it's so annoying to get in on will this land on your opponent sometimes it won't and that's completely fine it's completely fine if it doesn't land on your opponent um but you just want to get that hit advantage and then start just chipping their damn life away with it and just start pressuring them from full screen and use it to get in on your opponent i actually like to use it i like to make it go super slow and then just start pressuring my opponent with it or whatever and just boom just get in on them it's it's really really good and like just start staggering off of, off of it like it does that and oh they gonna do something else and i'll grab them so i really like it but it, it's gonna take time to get used to it's it is not an easy variation so there's that hopefully you guys enjoyed i'll go you hold it back check you bastards later deuces